to go even further beyond! Yeah, my name's Akashi, and in this video, we've got a PvP tutorial on perfect vanishing. I know you guys get annoyed when the enemy gets a perfect vanish. You're probably screaming, "Oh, they're lucky as hell!" And in most cases, they probably are. But there is a method for you guys to actually increase your chances of getting perfect vanishes. Because I have to keep it real at the start of the video right here most times it's luck because it's about predictions however there is a way to increase your chances of actually landing one so more time depending on who you're facing it actually might not be luck so if you want to be on the more skill side you're in the right place and we all know how annoying it is so to be on the opposite end to be doing it and actually meaning to do it and not just getting a lucky sidestep you're in the right place man come on man let's do this so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video hopefully you guys are going to find this video informative in some way shape or form if you haven't already make sure to press that subscribe button on this grind to 15k at the time of recording this video all my socials on the left is the youtube channel where we got twitter twitch reddit instagram and a discord link all in the description below so make sure to check me out on all of those especially the discord the discord be lit follow me on instagram too especially i'm trying to get my followers up there almost uh trying to hit 1k on twitter too but um yeah i don't really want to hold you guys up too long like perfect vanishing is just gonna make pvp difficult and the fact that i'm bringing you guys this tutorial if a lot of people watch it hey <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a crazy time in pvp but yeah man let's actually get into this video now all right so boom before I actually get into the actual tutorial, I have to discuss the elements of actually vanish stepping. So you guys know that if the enemy attacks, you get exclamation mark on the top of your head, basically alerting you that there's an attack coming in some way, shape or form. So that alerts you to actually sidestep. And if you sidestep while an enemy attack is coming, you get what is called a vanish step. If you didn't know that, now you know, hopefully everybody knows that. So at least on the same page. Now, if you don't know what a perfect vanish is, it's a scenario where you vanish step, but you vanish step so fast and probably so early to the point where the next attack that you do, the enemy is incapable of vanish stepping it afterwards. So you see in some situations, I'll show you on the screen, you could vanish step and then if you was to attack straight away, it wouldn't land because it wasn't a perfect vanish. It allows them to vanish step straight after you vanish step them. But then in some cases, you could vanish step and if you attack straight away, they're unable to attack because you vanish step so perfectly to the point where they can't react to it afterwards. And that's what I'm going to be teaching you how to do in this video. If you were able to consistently do that, you'd literally be getting the one up on the enemy every single time, starting the combo every single time and just having them in a trap where they don't even get the chance. You're not even going to let them get the chance to, <laughs> to even attack you. So yeah. Now in PvP, what most people actually just do, they sidestep recklessly hoping that the enemy will just attack in some way, shape or form when they don't know, but that's why they're just sidestepping continuously. But hopefully, if they were to sidestep continuously, if the enemy's timing is really bad, you would get actually get a perfect vanish because you sidestep so early, but you wouldn't have actually known when the enemy is attacking, which is why it's actually partially luck. But the fact that you made the prediction that they will attack, if you just keep sidestepping, if you sidestep so early, you could possibly get a perfect vanish. And that's essentially just vanish stepping the, the exact millisecond, the exact moment instantaneously when the exclamation mark appears so you're not reacting after after it you're just doing it straight away so if you're working on predictions you'll just be sidestepping with no aim no means you don't even know what you're doing you're just hoping that you get one but now getting into the tutorial of how to perfect vanish what you're gonna want to do is work on your floating now i've done a previous video which actually tells you everything you need to know about floating and how it can benefit you in pvp but floating is the key way to actually land a perfect vanish when you float to the right or left it actually makes you lean more so to the side in which you're going to vanish step so instead of going fully straight and then right you're already like in between the left and the right so then you'd immediately go to the right. It kind of speeds up the process of you vanish stepping. So if you was to be floating all the time to the left or to the right, you'd actually be speeding up that process to help you actually get a perfect vanish more likely than you would have if you were just sidestepping continuously and jumping. So you want to be predicting it by floating. I'm going to show you an example of what I mean on the screen. 
So you can see on the screen right now, I'm actually floating to the right. But instead of just sidestepping and swiping, you don't want to be swiping. You want to be gliding your thumb gently to the right. And then at certain moments, you want to be flicking it as you would for a sidestep. But if you're just going from straight to sidestepping, you're less likely to actually get a perfect vanish. But if you're gliding, then you're going to actually jump straight away as soon as the exclamation mark appears. And that would actually give you the upper hand in trying to get a perfect vanish so like i'm showing you on the screen glide to the right first and then you're just hoping on the prediction like i said it's partially luck because you don't know when the enemy is actually going to attack but if you're gliding and they do attack then you'd actually be one up from the enemy if you were to sidestep at a certain moment and actually get that perfect vanish so it's just that moment instantaneously getting a vanish step when the exclamation mark appears but if you were to glide it actually help you land that way better you can go left or right up to you but as long as you're floating and not just jumping with the swipe, you have to be gliding your th thumb or whatever you're using to play Dragon Ball Legends to the right or left, then swiping afterwards, you'd actually increase your chances of getting a vanish step, which is perfect. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so halfway through recording this video, I actually realized there's another way you can actually perfect vanish, but I don't recommend it because it's quite situational and mostly used for long range but you can implement it close range as well but it kind of forces you to do an actual sidestep straight away and if it doesn't work out then you're kind of messed <laughs> so um what you basically have to do is just charge up but if you charge up you don't have an animation to go through when you sidestep so if the person attacks straight away and you're charging up and then you sidestep out of that so you cancel the charge up through sidestepping then you can actually get a perfect vanish through that as well if you're predicting it so um that's just something i wanted to throw out there but i feel like it's less uh less safe in comparison to floating to the right and then uh sidestepping depending on your timing but you do get key from charge uh, charging up as well so um you can charge up and then sidestep as well up to you it's your choice but yeah just wanted to put that in the video before someone comes here and flames me that's not the only way to catch you did it yeah now just to end off this video because there's not actually much to doing this it's just more so about putting it into practice computers are insane at doing this but they're broken man computers just know when you're going to attack on what you're going to do so you can't really avoid that but in uh pvp we're facing humans so they're more reactionary they're actually using their eyes and then moving afterwards or they're just moving recklessly so if you can apply this in pvp it's very simple i'm going to show you guys some examples of me actually pulling it off in some cases you can actually easily easily predict it happening especially if you're close range but there's two types of perfect vanishes you can get three types even you can get one at close range mid range and long range the long range are much more harder to get and they're much more luckier if you do get them mid range runs probably the same thing as the long range but if you're close range it's more strategic and actual skill if you're getting a perfect advantage when you're close range because you'd be knowing what the enemy's going to do because you're predicting what they're going to do and more time once you predict at close range it's a tight situation so it's either you're right or you're wrong so it's more skill in that factor but yeah i'm just gonna end off with showing you uh, a pvp gameplay hopefully if i don't then it's just gonna cut up here but hopefully showing you guys um a couple examples of me perfect vanishing i'm gonna show you the actual counter so how many times i perfect vanish in that pvp battle hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video this is literally going to take you that next step pvp if it gets harder it's not my fault i'm just here to teach you guys i'm here to bring you guys a tutorial some of you guys just be talking because you're trying to face me on fridays but <laughs> you ain't got the techers so i'm teaching you and then you can practice on friday and then we'll see how you've improved but um besides from that let's let's just make pvp as difficult as possible We're trying to make it more skilled um giving everybody the little gems hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video man if you haven't already make sure to press that subscribe button on this grand to 15k at the time i'm recording this video all my socials are on the left it's the youtube channel where we've got twitter twitch reddit instagram and a discord link all in the description below i told you earlier follow me on instagram and twitter especially join the discord as well It'll be lit over there but um yeah i'm gonna let the gameplay play out if there is any my name is akashi guys and i will see you guys in the next one
flee, you think you- Don't waste your energy. Let me your energy! You're through!